We have a hollow aluminum pipe in the shape of a right cylinder. The pipe has this outside diameter of 40, a wall thickness of 1, and a height of 120. They want to know the closest volume of the metal wall of this pipe. So what's happening here is we have this kind of empty space that is technically a smaller cylinder. And if I could subtract that from the volume of the entire cylinder as if it was whole, that's going to give me the volume of just that thin wall. So it's just going to be, you know, on our equation sheet, the volume of the cylinder, the bigger cylinder is going to be pi times the radius of the bigger, bigger cylinder. So since the diameter is 40, it's just going to be 20 squared times our height, which is 120. And then what we actually want to do is we want to subtract the volume of the smaller cylinder, the empty space. So that's just going to be pi. And then if the radius of the bigger cylinder is 20, to get the uh, the radius of the smaller cylinder, the empty space is just going to be minus the wall thickness, which is minus 1. So that's just going to be 19 squared times 120. So if I calculate the volume of the bigger cylinder, it's going to be 20 squared times pi and times 120. It's like 150,000, and all I have to do is subtract the smaller cylinder. So that's going to be pi times 19 squared and times 120. And I'm getting like 14,700. My answers are pretty disparate, pretty far away from each other. So we know it's just going to be B here.